First pitch on the way, and that is fouled off. We're underway at 6.01 here at MGM Park. In the right side, the left-hander Harding deals, and it's swung on a miss at a curveball down in the dirt. So a strikeout for the first out of the minor league schedule. One-two pitch looped, back behind second, and there to make the grab is Jordan Westberg for the out. And that's a great top of the Gulf tonight. 2-2 two -two to Jordan, called third strike on the inside edge. Great fastball location there for Mason Montgomery for Texas Tech and done exceptionally well. This one is laced and fair down the left field line all the way towards the corner. Westberg around first to second easily. It's dug out in the corner by Baker, but it's a one-out double for Jordan Westberg, and that's the first hit of the ball game. Fifth year on a 0-2. Bouncer out towards second. Third hop, chest high, easy enough for Klein, throws to first, and Montgomery is able to work around the one-out double by efforts in that opening weekend. 2-2, high pop fly, left field. Pimentel at the line, steps over right before he gets to the short fence. Out by the Community Bank Terrace, reaches up and makes. They fell behind early on Sunday, too, but took the lead for good in the fourth. Roller out to second. Klein is up with it, throws to first, and it's a 1 2 3 frame for Mason McC. He has played, including the final two, Saturday and Sunday, in that series against Rice. Here's a slow ground ball up the middle. Westbrook charging, ranges behind the bag, throws a little offline to first, and Marshawk will be safe this season really the catalyst you want the runner goes the pitch down and away a throw to second will not be in time sliding in feet first is max marshock he has a stolen base what we check back at second and the 1-0 ground ball to the shortstop westberg stays back picks it up throws accurately to first and it actually gets away from the first baseman hatcher off the dugout coming in to score is marshock on an e6 it is one to nothing red raiders well, put the ball in play. Good things will happen to you sometimes. Back-to-back -back Definitely not someone you want to mess with if you're Harding. A 1-1 hit off the end of the bat. Down the left field line, Tanner Leggett, waiting in foul territory, reaches up and makes the catch right before the front row. And that'll do it here in the top. Montgomery looks in. The 2-2 pitch lined into center field. Noisy races back right there in right center field, makes the catch. So the speedy Noisy doing it again, taking that. The 2-0 hit off the end of the bat into right center field. Has some carry to it, though. Rowdy Jordan going back. Oh, just shy of the warning track. Makes the catch in right center field. Young puts a charge into it. Then for 13 with three extra base hits. The 1-0 little ground ball on the left side of the infield. Picked up by Conley. A long throw. Not taken in by the first baseman Stillwell. And Hatcher is safe at first. Montgomery kicks the 2-1. Ground ball sharply on the left side. That's a base hit. Pass to diving Conley. Hatcher will stop at second base. And the Bulldogs have two on with two out. Montgomery ready. The one, two is a ground ball to third. Knocked down and bobbled by the third baseman Young. Gets up and throws to first. Not in time. Montgomery takes a deep breath. He fires. Fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And Mason Montgomery able to work through some adversity here in the fourth inning and keep the Bulldogs off the board. Colleges. Offering hit out towards the right field gap should be playable and Joe's gonna get bailed out by a fly ball to right field. One, two, three inning for Houston. Very long run. One, two, this is a shallow pop fly. Noisy and easy stride in, it falls in front of him and there's a base knock for Brad Cumbus. Inside ball four. First walk of the night for either side. Upstairs ball four. Can't hold up on a fastball low and outside and it's a big strikeout for John McMillan. Jordan at first. 1-2, bouncing ball, third base side, gloved by Young, and it falls out of his glove. Tie ball game. High ball four, that forces in a run. 
third walk of the frame for state pitching. John McMillan. 0-2 in the air. Playable in center field for Noisy. He makes the catch. Runner tags from second to third. Runner tags to score. Sack fly Cameron James. And the Bulldogs have three in the fifth. 2-2 swung on and missed. McMillan brings the frame to an end, but not before Mississippi State scores three. Powerful Texas Tech offense. Hit the opposite way, bounces off of the first baseman, Hatcher, and Baker is going to be on on another error in college baseball. First offering, hit out into center field, slicing and will fall down. Looking to take the extra base is Baker and he will go first to third on a flare single out into left center field. Blowing outside, ball four. And that's the first walk issued. 3-1 inside, ball four, second straight walk, forces in a run. So the Red Raiders have responded with something here in the sixth. Swing and a miss. The freshman does his job. A massive strikeout with the bases loaded for Landon Sick. The western side of the state. 3-2 again, outside, ball four. They have to turn around Friday and get to the grind of conference play. Pitches in the dirt. That's going to allow Jordan to move down to second. Why? One. Hit in the air out towards the right field cap. That's going to find space and roll. Jordan will score easily. It turns into a long single for Brandon Pimentel, his eighth RBI of the year. And Mississippi State responds for Mississippi State. Get out into right center field, and that'll get down and bounce out towards the wall. Stays in the park, and that's going to allow Jordan to round all the way and score from first. At the time, it tied the game at one. It's this one on the ground. Young down to his knees. Up, throws to first in time. Another scalded ball the opposite way by Josh Hatcher. Packed house for sure. Sims ready, 2-2, two, two, swung on and missed for strike three, and that is four up, four down, all on strikeouts for the freshman Landon Sims. We head to the last out of the sixth inning. We'll start the seventh as well. The Southpaw fires and Foscue hammers it. Dead center field, Noisy going back. He reaches up, he can't get it, and hits off the track into the wall. Noisy fires in, but into second, standing up is Justin Foscue with a double. 3-2, that's lined into right field. That's going to drop in a perfectly placed base hit. Scoring from third is Foscu, an RBI single for Logan Tanner. It is 6-2 Mississippi State. Him over, ground out, get him in. RBI single to right. And here's Landon Jordan now. He takes one outside, and now the runner is caught in no man's land. The catcher will throw down to second, and the tag is in time by the shortstop, Conley. A delayed steal attempt, I do believe, there from Logan. Fourth, but then State scored three in the fifth. They all pitch, and Baker takes high ball four, and there is the on-base streak continued for Drew Baker. Left-handed hit incline. Takes one inside off the glove of Logan Tanner. Wild pitch, and Drew Baker moves down. Second with two gone, the 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground, right side, and threw out into right. Coming on, Cumbus, throw home, cut off short, run scores as Baker touches home for a second time. RBI single for Cole Stillwell. Another one, two from Sims. Taken outside, half called, third strike. Six Ks for Landon Sims. Not know where Big Sandy is. The 2-2. Two -two. Smashed and a diving catch made by Klein at second. As well, midseason and postseason. One, two, hit out towards second, backing up on it. Klein, easier play this time. Shoot top play made by Still. 
for the redshirt freshman. Swings and misses at this one, and that is the ball game. Mississippi State ambushes the Red Raiders in the middle innings and comes to Biloxi and gets a 6-3 win in game number one of the Hancock-Whitney Classic.